Hey, 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 what is going on, everyone? Hope y'all can heal me. And I go live every single Monday from Farming for Law. My name is Jordan Subaru. I'm a life coach, marketing agency, and also a book writer of Perfectly Perfect How You Dream Life. And normally I have a special, laid out, edited video that's really fancy and more entertaining to watch. But I just got back from taking a trip to Harvard and seeing my family. So I want to make a quick video that was more personal, more one-on-one -on -one with you guys. And really, really quickly, you know. I remember when I first started off, you see the title of this thing. It's okay if not everyone likes or loves you. Because a lot of people nowadays, sadly to say, have a hard time liking and loving themselves. But for me, I feel like it's super, super sad. And if you have gone through a state in your mind, well, you don't know where you're going or you don't know how to get that following base up. It's okay. When I first started off three years ago, I had hardly anybody watch me and no one really mentioned me and I was pretty much by myself. And that is the key. If you can get past that initial startup phase of being alone and working on your own dreams, being your own cheerleader, you can accomplish anything you want in your life. Because it's no one's responsibility or job to be the person to root for you, to cheer you on. That's your job. Other people will start doing it after they see you make that commitment for making it happen. And if you're part of my EMM group, Entrepreneur Mindset Mastermind group, I just posted about the imposter syndrome. And I even go through this sometimes myself. And one of the best ways to get past that is to just go all in and just do what you want to do in your life and see what happens. Because there's no way you can really fail unless you give up. So even further than that, you know, if you are in the point in your life where you're trying to accomplish your dreams or find something new or change things up, all it really takes is that initial action of making it happen. And after that, everything's going to fall together. So for me, when I first started off, I said three years ago, I had like no one watching me. Now I have thousands of people. Most of my videos get 3,000 views or more. I've reached over 200,000 people, probably a lot more than that. And if you would have asked me three years ago if that was possible, I would have said no way. Like, it is hard to believe. That's because we are our own worst enemies. We're always going to be the worst enemies no what? Because it will be the hardest on ourselves. Which is a good thing. Because that means that we can push ourselves further. That means we want more. We expect more from ourselves. So work fast. Like make a list of five things that you want to do in life. What are five things that you are trying to accomplish this year? We have four more months left. What's going on everyone? Thank you so much for joining. And really narrow it down to point to how to make smart goals that actually make it ask or make it happen for you. Like uh, I said before, you know, we have to be the biggest cheerleaders. We have to be the ones to root for ourselves. Once we become so good, other people will start coming to us because they realize that not only we bring them value, but we're also we are so committed to our dreams and our goals that we will do it ourselves. It doesn't matter if you have one person following you a million people following you, a billion people following you. It only matters if you love what you're doing. This is why I feel like it's so important to get that mindset of find something you love to do. A lot of people like Ben Cardone, if you watch him, will tell you, don't worry about what you love doing. Just worry about doing the things that make you money. And I do agree, you know, many for me, I feel like the most freeing way to have financial freedom and really live an independent life in your own terms. But if you can get to the point where you love what you're doing, like helping people, marketing, writing, you can do that no matter what. It becomes a lifestyle. So, a little fast message to end this off, you know, it's not going to be super long. This is a super concise message just for you personally. You are ready right now to do what you want to do in life. There's people out there who are doing what you want to do or similar things that you want to do in life simply because 
they decided and took action and made it happen. We only need to be one step ahead of somebody else, start getting paid for our services, or to start living our dreams. And sometimes, not even that much. You can literally find new circles and squares on what you want to do in your life, like Steve Jobs said, by looking backwards on how we came to the point we are now. So I hope you guys have this message really heartfelt for you and you really got some value out of this. If you have, definitely like some comments down below. Let me know you're watching. And sell this and tag your friends so they can see it too. Because my main goal in life is to help all you guys, all you beautiful people and women out there live life in your own terms and be the best you they can be. That's what life is all about. But as always, we're all in together. See you next Monday. Love you all. Namaste. Remember, you are ready now. Not when someone says you are. Not when I say you are. When you say you are.